So Natasha, congrats on the Thank successful so completion of your Viva. Thank you. Tell us what what's it about? What's the topic? So uh, my work focuses on French language textbooks published in India. So I look at uh, how these textbooks have been contextualized for the Indian students, and what are the strategies used by the teachers, uh, teacher authors, in fact, of these books. How many are they? Uh, to my knowledge, the ones that are published in the country uh, are uh, there are around one hundred and thirty seven, and this is excluding uh, the textbooks for French for specific purposes. I've taken only textbooks for French as a foreign language, and uh, yeah, there are around one thirty five. uh that was still uh 2020 going back to 1986 i've taken 1986 30 year period 1986 to 2020 uh, because those were the years of the national education policies that were out 2020 was just out and uh, 1986 was one of the first uh, policies and what's your reading on it which are doing better than others any uh, innovative means the thing is i've not done an evaluation i've done an analysis and i can say this that the number of textbooks in the country have uh, exponentially uh, increased in the past 30 years uh, there are different levels of contextualization that has been used uh, the i have i have analyzed more in detail the pub, uh, textbooks published by cbse and the state boards so i've taken maharashtra goa kerala and tamil nadu and we do see uh, that these textbooks align with um, contextualization and constructivism that is mentioned in the national education policy uh however uh in some of the textbooks the orientation that is there is more towards france uh and in my recommendations i mentioned that the textbooks need to have more of a global vision uh this is in keeping with the nep and also with the the latest trends in uh creation of uh content so uh, so yes how big is french among foreign language studies in india uh in fact uh, french is the first uh, or i would say the the language that people choose the most uh of Numbers. course after english uh they are uh, if, if you take cbsc every year you will see a constant increase but if you compare french with german uh spanish japanese uh french is the highest like you have most number of takers in french than in other uh, languages um it's difficult to have one figure but if we look at the CB- cbse publishes data every year as well as the uh, all india institute of higher education there are more number of people who take french than any other foreign language this is excluding english which okay? states are doing well and how is goa doing uh i've not analyzed like the from the point of view which state is doing well but i can say that um a lot of books are published by the state um like uh agencies that uh, support uh, textbook development any particular regions that are more into french in india um the thing is we have different school systems right so cbse yeah. schools you'll find throughout the country and while the state board schools you do find uh, in i mean you have in every state itself and the thing is certain states will publish their own books which is excellent because in any case uh India is a country where which has diverse uh, context. Uh, someone who's sitting in Leh or Rak will not have a similar environment than someone sitting in Goa, for instance. And it's great to see that these textbooks exist. Uh, I would like to highlight one thing that um, if you see these textbooks have been created by teacher authors, which again is in line with uh, the recommendations by uh, the national bodies. uh and uh, and this is a uh, a different model of textbooks which you don't really find uh in other uh, places in the world so what the teachers have created uh, teacher authors have created in india is uh is something that is worthy of analysis and um, you know it's worthy of uh, uh being replicated also in places elsewhere very interesting last question i know you as a workaholic <laughs> but what was the toughest part of completing this how many year process so this was uh, i think it's 6 and a half to 7 yeah, years you were also working mistaken. you were working full time yes, while you were doing yes. it so what was toughest i think um figuring out where to limit the corpus because i have two corpuses my first corpus is 137 i had to tell myself no i need to stop because initially when i set out i was like how many textbooks are going to be there like i knew the ones from goa because i am from goa but i didn't know that there were so many that existed so when i got into it then i needed to say stop because like 
if my data also shows that the numbers have like exploded, which also um, stands as a testament to the demand for the language. Uh, that and also the choice on which textbooks to analyze in detail. Uh, but once I figured out like the rationale for that, it was uh, it was much better. But yeah, that was the toughest. Amazing! All the very best. Thank you. Keep Thank up you the good so work. Much.